Good afternoon, everyone. Um, just give us a couple couple more minutes um, and we'll get started. So Rick, can you hear me? Certainly can. Okay, great. So thank you all for coming on. The time is 12.46. We'll just wait one more minute and we'll get right, right into it. Um, for those listening, keep an open mind. This is short, sharp and sweet. And to the point in what is a ever-changing world. So one more minute and we're ready to go. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name's Kieran Creeby. I'm the MD of um, Brokers Equity and I've been joined by Rick Newhoven, who has a, a range of business interests, including accounting, finance and property. Rick is also a board member of the MFAA, Rick. Close, I'm a board member of the FBAA, but I, I've just joined the um, MFAA um, mortgage management um, subcommittee as well. Right. Plus we have a, a, a quite a few high profile, uh, high profile attendees today. So we'll kick off with um, the Royal Commissioner Hain last year, which is something that um, we were all worried about at the time, particularly in the broking industry. Um, as you all know, um, it didn't really come to much as far as the broking industry was concerned um, and a lot of the recommendations still haven't been changed. 
we're 12 months, uh, 12 months along and um, how the world has changed even so. So the theme of this one is six new, new, new ways you'll be able to generate business, but more importantly, your business model will never be the same again, as most business models across the world will change dramatically over the next couple of years due to COVID-19. So the key theme is change. If you don't change, you become a victim of change. Abigail Johnson is the uh, chairman of Fidelity Fund Management in the US with $2.1 trillion um, under management, 25 million clients, deals with 25 companies. I watched an interview with her earlier this year and they said, what are the three key things she focuses on? And this, this is what she said. What's on the horizon? What's the next big thing? What's over the horizon? And I think that's a very topical, uh, topical matter at the moment. What was on the horizon two months ago is not on the horizon this month. So again, you've got to watch, watch, watch what's coming and where the opportunities lies. Brokers Equity are a consulting firm that focuses on work dealing with brokers, planners and accountants and some legal firms. We're not a one size fits all. So I'll explain a bit further what we actually do there. Um, we're supported today by Compass Global Markets, the biggest independent FX dealers and trade finance people in Australia. And of course, a couple of Rick's businesses and Brokers Equity. Um, who are we or who we are? We're consultants to the financial services and accounting sectors. My background is predominantly being venture capital, banking, and also I had a major shareholding in an aggregator. So I've understood broking since 1990 when it originally started in Perth, which uh, was AFG were one of the first people in it. And we were all selling income protection. The directors are now directors of AFG. Um, we, we believe the future is in the broking industry is completely different from where we sit now. We're referral network specialists. So we deal with 107,000 people in our, in our network. One of the key things of this particular session is you need to grow your network substantially to survive in the industry. Um, distribution, client profiling and technology. I've met you all here today through technology. Some of you may know, know me, most of you don't. But through technology and real time technology, that's where your future lies. And we're all finding this out now more than ever, that half the people that are working from home because of the COVID-19 virus don't want to go back to work. And so that will reduce the values of, of office space because some companies are seriously looking at that. So again, what, what we never expected has, has happened but change the way people will work. No longer will everyone have to sit in a traffic jam. We have solutions for your clients and market segments, and we understand the industry and, and, and where it's heading. If 59% of people use brokers, then 100% should use brokers. There's tremendous opportunity there, but not just in broking. Education and niche off-market property. When I ask a broker what they actually do, they'll tell me they're a mortgage broker, but are you really a mortgage broker? You're, you're merely facilitating the purchase of a property in most cases. You should be part of that process and you should have income from that process. Our core services, so we have marketing services and, and technology platforms, we specialize in that. We have a an, an self-managed super fund education service not based around lending, but based around the industry and the opportunities in it. Off-market niche investment property. We're actually independent and engage different people in different, different states to do certain things in the property market. People, one size does not fit all in property. So effectively, um, we engage people right from commercial down to investors, down to first home buyers. We'll tell you a little bit. Yeah, about that. Google Rage is a, a website that specializes in 
and giving people the opportunity to source finance and property. We don't do finance, so we outsource that to our, our network of people that work with us. Scott Kavanagh, the Vice President of Compass Global is online. Scott's uh, special, they specialize in big end um, uh, transactions, importing and exporting, and also trade finance. Why are we involved in that space? Because we have a big accounting uh, core of referrers and their clients are uh, FX um, importers and exporters. Quick fees. If you want to talk to accountants and pick up the phone and say, hey, I'm a mortgage broker, refer me clients and I'll do the best deal, it won't work. But if you ring them up and say, I've got a, a way of funding your clients' fees. In other words, clients are slow payers to accountants. If you have a look at quickfee.com, we're a reseller for that group, so the client can pay their accountants' fees monthly. This is gonna be more important in the next 12 to 18 months because apparently everyone's contacting their accountants uh, to do the job seeker or whatever it is they can get from the government in these, um, these uh, tough times. And Tax Variation Services is one of our rich companies. He'll be running through that with you um, shortly. Results focused. Um, if you have a game of AFL, soccer, whatever, and you were to run the players out onto the field and there was no goals, you wouldn't have a game, would you? So we're very much results focused, very much results focused. New and existing clients. Um, we focus on distribution. I ask a lot of brokers, planners, accountants, what's their distribution model? And a lot of them don't have one or a marketing model. A lot of them don't have one. You should have one. We're ruthless in execution of referrals. So BE acquires client bases, buys client bases. We have about 65,000 clients um, that we can refer out to our networks for certain services. Our flagship is to require clients and data of which we have now roughly 107,000. Um, we help build long-term profitable relationships for consistent sales. Now, the word profitable is the key point here. The average loan size is probably four, four fifty, two and a half grand for 30 man hours of work. That's a lot of work um, the broking industry is doing right now for the lenders from when you see a client to when you get paid by your aggregator is often more than six months and a lot of stress. So we're talking to you about adding profitable, uh, profitable um, products and services to your business and high profit growth. Um, what's our objective here today was really to say, look, um, we want to help you leverage your efforts five, fivefold, fourfold, incre in increase your leverage. You're the only people in the financial services sector or the white collar sector that's giving clients money. Everyone else is taking money off them. So you're in the box seat. You need to start thinking about that. You need to start adding value, uh, not just by selling car insurance, but increasing your income to 100, 200,000 a year. So that's our second objective. The other key objective is to re reduce your working time by 30 to 40%. We know it's tough out there at the moment. We know that um, that one broker just told me that it's taking 30, 40 days for Westpac to have a look at a deal. I mean, what do you do in the meantime? We've got to actually reduce your working time so you're producing higher profits. And the last thing on the objective side is how many referrals do you actually get from your clients? Your clients should be walking, talking billboards for your business. It's unbelievable that people wait for their clients to give them a ring and refer them a client, when in fact you should have a referral plan in place. And if you don't, you really need to get one. Your clients should be raving fans, not just referring you the odd deal. What we're not, we're not a dealer group, we're not a fund manager, we're not an aggregator, we're not, not an accountant, and we're not a financial planning. We merely facilitate these industries. We're not here to give you PD points. As you know, points make prizes, but they don't pay your bills. Um, we're not here to sell you software. Um, they don't pay your bills either. What actually pays your bills is new high quality clients 
that can actually buy something from you. What makes us different? We're premium end, end services. JP Morgan, Coates Bank's famous in London because it's Richard Branson's and the Queen's Bank's. Most people don't know who Coates Bank's is because they don't advertise and they don't need to advertise because they deal with a high-end market. We, we help people achieve higher-end market, real-time sales. Real-time advanced marketing. What is marketing? Is you know, Lendy, Findy, you name them. Hashing. They're all out there. They're all doing the same thing. Two point oh nine percent. Everybody knows it. There's nothing, nothing sexy or advanced or innovative about that. There's no innovation. I was talking to a guy who's written a couple of books. Who's online now, and he he specialises in certain things. But there's no innovation. Everyone, you go to a PD day and all they tell you about is their new products. And um, that's not what the game's about. It's advanced marketing that attracts the clients that you want. We pay referral fees, obviously, on the services we provide. But here's what we do do that no one else does. Is once qualified, you've started referring to us, we will refer you clients. And if you're good enough, and if you're keen enough, and I suppose that's the key word, aggressive enough and really want to build your business will also help you out with accountants. People find accountants hard. They're not hard. There's actually a way to do that. And we, we have the systems in place to do that. Um, so what's our network? What, what, what makes us so good? What makes us different? Why would you deal with us? So we, we've got, we deal with 17,000 accountants, 14,000 mortgage brokers, 5,000 plus planners, 55,000 clients, 15,000 plus B2B clients. Now, look, they're not all buying every day, but they know our brand and we communicate that with them three times weekly. Now, if you were to ask yourself, how often do you actually communicate with your clients? Most people tell me a quarterly newsletter. That's not, that's not the now, that's the past. You've got to interact with your clients and not just say, hey, here, the old interest rates stay the same. I get 15 emails within half an hour, all saying the same thing. And five of the emails are all the same formats from different brokers that they've obviously bought off a platform, right? That's not communication. Communication is interaction. You've got to talk to them about different things, not just finance. You've got to innovate, be different. Your clients will, will engage if you engage with them, not with the same old thing. And I guess the reason you, um, you're, you're listening today is, is because what's important to you? You've seen something in the agenda that's important to you. And, and that's what we focus on with the people we work with. We're not looking for cast of thousands to work with. We're looking for people that understand they've got a business, but they need to expand that business into other areas. So we focus on what's important to you. And when we ask the question in an open forum, it's often difficult um, for people to answer because some people don't know what's important to them. But I know your clients know what's important to them. So you should as well. And what makes you different? Again, it, I know it's a cliche, but it's the number one thing investors ask in, in um, venture capital. The first thing they do in venture capital when you give them a five-year plan is they go to the back. Why do they go to the back? Because the financials are in the back and they want to know the numbers stack up. So they're looking for a 40% 40 net income. That's what they're looking for, right? Um, and the second thing they look for is, okay, what makes you different? You're a mortgage broker, but when your client says, look, I, deal, I, I can deal with five or six mortgage brokers, what makes you different? If you take anything out of this session, take that out. What makes you different? It's paramount. A um, little bit on technology. Um, taxi plates used to sell for $500,000. Then Uber came in and took over the world, right? Uber has immediately moved into... Um, transporting boxes and moving in on the postal area until the the restrictions are lifted but they're a huge company and they've come out of nowhere airbnb since 2012 is absolutely about 75 billion 
or something thereabouts. So it is possible to grow out exponentially. I'm not suggesting you become the next Airbnb, but by all means, feel free. What I'm trying to demonstrate is the speed at which the world has moved at. Um, there's over 100 short-term lenders now that lend to businesses. Um, you people would know all about them. Uh, over 100 in the space of five years. If we look at the iPhone, it's innovation that killed Nokia. Um, and you've got to decide in your business model, you've got the clients, it's what you can actually offer them outside of your core business and complement your business. The iPhone innovates every year, as we know. You'll either be an iPhone or you'll be a Nokia. That's it. Everybody online right now will recognize that phone. It'll almost seem like that phone was yesterday, but it actually wasn't. The same as Kodak, we all dealt with film. The iPhone killed, the radio star killed the video star, whatever. The iPhones killed the Nokia, and the Nokia's never come back from that. Too slow, sleeping at the wheel, don't get caught. So what's the future? I'm an absolute believer if you're giving people money, which you are, or organizing the money for them, then you should be doing the risk protection, the wealth management, the property. You should be able, by association, slap that down on your desk and tell the clients, this is what you do when you need any of these services. They come to you. And if you're not doing it, you've got to start looking at doing it. There's no, there's no way forward just being on, a, on, on one thing. You need to be able to provide your clients with those services. The biggest growth area in the next two, three years will be the planning budgeting sector. We've seen Tammy Barton, my budget, who's made squillions of dollars advertising every day on TV at the moment because the, the, the world's had a shock, but Australia's had a shock and people now realize they need some sort of plan. So if you're not involved with that, you better start thinking about it because that's where you're gonna generate a lot of new business clients need that sort of advice on the agenda we had looking for new clients work with us we'll provide them up front and we will and you can talk to people that have worked with us um, we've got plenty of clients we just uh, are always on the constant lookout for quality people that really want to want to look look for new clients we can help you there and we don't charge why don't we charge because we get a percentage and we get the other business components of what we sell. But we want commitment, 100% commitment. It's no good being part-time. You know, the amount of times, and I don't want to offend anyone here, that I, I'll talk to a broker and I can hear the, the, the kids screaming in the background, not professional, it's not acceptable. You're not in business, it's not good. You've got to actually be 100% committed. Cut the umbilical cord. Part of what we do is training. If you want to be at the top of the Premier League or the top of the AFL, you've got to train. And, and, and I don't mean going to a PD day. That's not training. This is, we do training programs that accelerate the training programs because it's what you say can mess a deal up. You have to be trained properly and efficiently, like a fighter pilot. We're a great believer in, in, in the military type of training that actually you, you execute your business uh, day to day with professionalism. And I'll give you examples later on, but it's what you say and how you do it from your marketing to dealing with clients uh, will build your business. So it's never, no, no one's ever overtrained. trust me. You can be trained. We can learn from everybody. If you're green, you'll grow. First home buyers and investors, should they buy now? Well, that was one of the agenda items, absolutely. We're seeing an increased, increased referrals at the moment. On one hand, we're seeing all this bad news and we're seeing the queues at Centrelink, et cetera, et cetera. But we've had an increase. And talking to a Sydney developer yesterday, he said it's increased substantially since Easter. So the short term, issues we're going through at the moment, there'll still be 90% of people employed. And if you're not in, I hear people say first time buyers are really hard. Well, they're not. They're a big part of the market. And so are investors. And you're doing the loans for them. So you should be involved 
in the property transaction by association. So at least you're getting paid, not just your broking fees. Um, in our property sector, if a, if a first home buyer deals with us and we source the options, the property options will double the grant. If it's an investor, we'll give them a 10,000 investor grant after settlement as an incentive. So we're different. So the clients notice two things. One, they're getting a doubling of the grant. Two, we act for them. We don't act for the uh, developer. We don't act for the vendor like the real estate industry. If you go on realestate.com, has anyone ever seen a bad property advertised? I know I haven't. It's like a resume. You've never seen a bad one. So that's a unique thing you can talk to your clients about. Hey, I notice you're buying an investment property. I can help you with that and also organize a $10,000 cash back. You can talk to your clients about it, not just sit there doing the, 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 the loan. Where professional investors are buying right now in this pandemic? Well, we call it the barbecue mafia. Everyone has an opinion on property. Everybody knows the best areas. And look, if we all actually did have that glass ball that we could look through, it, it would be like magic, but we don't. There's certain, certain, certain key things people are looking at sort of area they're looking in melbourne they're looking in brisbane they're looking in sydney they're looking in perth in fact because they've got more time on their hands because of this pandemic they're actually looking um we're finding they're all still looking they're not running shy because they know this will this will be over and we're not all i don't like the saying we're all in it together because we're not because People like James Packer isn't in it with me because I don't have a spare billion dollars lying around and all these film stars and pop stars that keep producing these videos showing you how good they are and that we're all in it together. Well, we're not in it together. There's a lot of people in a, in a lot of trouble, so um, we don't live by that maxim. But the buyers are still there. You're the person giving the money. You should be the person by association giving them the best options. Um, couple of couple of quick ones uh, that I'll show you. One is um, w one of Australia's um, billionaires. This is a project in Kangaroo Point, very upmarket suburb from 440. We're promoting that through our network. Why it's the only off the plan one we're doing it because we know it stacks up and it's right close to the CBD, so you can look over at the river and walk across the bridge. That's the best. Own and only off the plan um, product we have in Australia right now. But for self-managed super funds, overseas buyers and your clients, very high potential. The other key thing is dual income properties, which I'm sure you've all heard about them, um, range from 500,000 to seven, 800,000 in Sydney. Um, very popular with investors and also with families that are looking to put the parents in one side of it. Your yields are six and a half, seven percent. That's something you can talk to your clients about now. That's something you can pick the phone up when you finish with and talk to your clients. If you make the calls, you get the sales. But talk to your clients about something interesting. First home buyers, well, they're all over the place. Schofields, as you know, Riverton, Box Hill in Sydney, Kangaroo Point, I've just mentioned. And um, there's some buying on the central coast. Ballarat in, in Victoria has become a popular area because it's, uh, of its low price, reasonable rents, Clyde. It's, it just depends on the area. But again, there's plenty of first home buyers and investors buying. The key thing with property, and I don't profess to be a property expert, I engage them, is stick, stick to the... Um, stick to the Woolworths, Ikea, Stocklands. They invest hundreds of millions of dollars in, in research. And if their research is good enough, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for your clients because they've spent the money. And also Rick will talk about um, uh, Adelaide. Um, a lot of Sydney buyers and investors actually uh, look to Adelaide for some investment uh, property options. So on that note, uh, oh, just one last thing on the property side. This is the 25 fastest growing suburbs in Australia. You'll see that in the top 10 bar one, it's all Victoria and Queensland. Camden in New South Wales comes in fourth. 
but the percentages are significant. Um, so as an investor, um, you've got to be looking at those sort of high growth areas as well, not just paying a fortune for, uh, like a client of ours did last year in Glebe for 1.5 million, a doctor, and the rent was 700 a week. So the year was, you know, seven, uh, sorry, 2% thereabouts. It was, it, it was a bad decision, right? It wasn't for a super fund, but anyway, that's another story. So we, one of the issues in property is prevention, preventing people from making the mistakes that their friends and family or their mates may have suggested. They need to get independent expert advice. So on that note, I'll finish and, and I'll come back at the end, but I'll put Rick on now, who's going to explain another opportunity for you and your clients. Um, he owns a business called myvariation.com.au, and this can certainly um, help your clients get the cash cash back on a weekly basis. Over to you, Rick. Thanks, Kieran. Um, so I guess what you touched on there about people making mistakes when it comes to property, um, as a tax practitioner for the last 16 years uh, and assisting um, you know, hundreds if not thousands of people with investment properties, um, the biggest issue is process and lacking of understanding of process. And, um, and therefore it's either the, sometimes it's the client who's doing it directly themselves or it's the, it's the person that's selling them the property and they don't understand um, the cash flow management of the, the property cycle. Um, but what happens is um, yeah, the process isn't really explained properly. And therefore, year one's usually okay, the client's happy. Um, and then year two, it becomes problematic because they don't manage their money properly. So um, why do a variation? The variation, a PAYG variation is basically a tax return in advance. And what it's doing is it's actually bringing their tax refunds through to them in advance through their pay cycle and therefore giving them cash to run their property on a week to week basis if they're paid weekly as an example. If we go to the next slide, um, some of you may have seen something like this. Um, so this is just the Summersoft software that property uh, advisors use. Um, you know, again, we've got to be careful who's who's actually giving out this advice. There are, I've seen a lot of brokers or even accountants, um, planners that are, are doing these and presenting property, but they're not necessarily understanding everything that they're doing. Um, but they're, so what's happening is presented is the bottom line there. Um, you know, hey, Mr. Mrs. Bloggs, this property is going to cost you $26 a week, right? And if you see just... To, if we look at that number 26 at the bottom, which is the cost uh, in the first year of running that property, if you go two lines up, you'll see the tax credit for this property is 6,555 bucks. Just to make the maths really easy, I'm just gonna say that's equivalent to $120 a week, right? So, but nothing is explained to them that they have to wait the whole year and do their tax to get that $6,555. Then what happens is they get their first refund, which is that amount of the tax credit, and then they spend it on a trip to Bali or new furniture or whatever, and forget that it's actually the money they're supposed to receive to run their investment property. And so therefore, um, they're wearing a cost of $125 plus 26. So they're doing $151 a week in the property that they're actually running till they get their refund and then they spend it inappropriately somewhere else. So the variation solves this problem for a lot of people that are uh, assisting their clients with property because what it's doing is it's actually helping them restructure their cash flow. If you go to the next page, so the simple cycle is we do a tax return in advance. Um, if Kieran, you want to flick over and um, there's a little flow chart there, but basically we do a tax return in advance and what would, that does is then goes to the tax office and then the tax office processes the application that we put in and then they throw back to the employer and tell the employer to take that $125 a week less tax out of their tax cycle and therefore the client is now receiving that money to pay their running costs. The other advantage for 
a mortgage broker that's um, sitting with the client is, hey, the more that you put your, um, your money into an offset account, the faster you're gonna be paying off your home loan as well. So for a mortgage broker, there's a double whammy here. You're able to give some value back to the client, um, you're able to help them with their cash flow, and you're actually being able to show them an additional benefit uh, to your valuable client in relation to um, paying off their home loan faster. Um, it's an easy service, it's all online, and what we also do is we throw in two hours of complimentary property tax advice over live chat um, that the, the client can actually seek um, to get to clarity on any property and taxation questions that they've got surrounding their property. Um, I think a couple of slides on, Kieran, there's a, um, uh, there's a discount coupon. So if you're not in it to make any money out of this transaction, um, you can actually pass the, uh, um, the coupon on to the client. It's just uh, 110 off. So instead of 330, we do it for 220. Or if you'd be interested in receiving that 110 yourself as a referrer, um, just email referrers at myvariation.com.au and, uh, and we can communicate with you about how to be set up as a, a My Variation referrer and how the whole system works and uh, so you understand it. Uh, but more than happy to take any questions afterwards. Um, you can give me a call and explain the uh, process. Now, the other product that's very, very popular at the moment is the 0.75% home loan. So what I've just done is I've just grabbed, which we call the portfolio loan. Some of you may have heard of it before. Uh, some of you may not. It, it's basically where we provide a discounted home loan on the owner occupier by transitioning some of the interest rate from a non-tax deductible debt, which is the owner occupied home loan, and transferring that interest rate debt through to the investor debt instead. So what I've done is uh, I've just put up two slides with the calculator, uh, one showing how it doesn't work and, and then the next one will show you how it works. But basically the moral of the story, it's all around uh, the debt ratio of owner occupied debt to investor debt. So the, the better the ratio, the better the interest rate becomes. So when we get a ratio of 30% owner occupied to investor debt, that's, that's where it becomes optimal. So here in this example, where we've got a 300,000 owner occupier and a 450 property, um, the interest that would be paid in that scenario is 11.4 and 17.290, but the total interest is $28,690. If you look below that, you'll see, and you'll see the yellow 2.07%, we've been able to transition nearly $5,000 or just over $5,000 from the owner occupier to the investment property debt. Seems okay so far, I mean, it's better than nothing. That's, um, that's still gonna be a, a tax savings of about $1,800 for this client um, by shuffling that interest across. But we could argue that the, you know, the, the benefit of the owner occupier being 2.07, um, the variable in the market's about you know, around that 2.8 to 3.2, so it might not be market competitive, however, when we add another property into the mix to get the ratio right, so we go to the next slide, this is where you know, the magic really starts to happen. So now with this client, still 300,000 on OCK, but now you can see it's got an $800,000 total debt for the investment. And have a look what's happened. Their owner-occupier interest has now decreased from 11.4 to $2,280. And we've just allocated that instead to the investor, which is now $39,520. So we've now nearly increased, uh, we've increased their tax deductible debt by $9,000, which is gonna save the client maybe three to three and a half thousand dollars, depending on their tax bracket, as additional tax back. So what happens is the figures generally wash out the same, but the main difference is they're now reducing their interest. So what does that mean? The interest reduction on the owner occupier, it allows the client to pay off their home loan so much faster. 
So what I did is a quick, uh, a simple screenshot of an ING calculator just to give you an example. And I understand that interest rates do fluctuate and it won't last forever, but it's always going to be an interest rate one and a half, two percent below the market. So if we go to the next slide, Kieran, you'll see just on that that screenshot there, just changing the rate to 0.75 percent. The total interest payable on the loan will only be $29,000 as a bargain. Uh, add some investment properties in with uh, even a conservative capital growth, most clients will halve their home loan term. So it can be very impactful. If we can keep their repayments at the same, if not more, uh, but at least the same as what they're on, but get them on that 0.75, they'll smash their home loan. So now what you're becoming is not just a broker, but you're becoming a, a valuable resource for them to get rid of their non-tax deductible debt as quickly as possible. So you're becoming a home loan reduction expert. It's a great product. And ironically, my most troublesome clients in the past have always been data orientated clients. You know, the engineers, the architects, uh, the, the deep thinkers that really want to review everything. But with this product, it's the data people that I find are the easiest to sign up because they see the data, they, they do the mass and the mass stacks up and they take it. Um, now I understand um, some people are with a restricted uh, um, aggregator. Uh, there are, we do have different options. We work as a mortgage manager under the Loan Guides brand. Um, so if you've got an ACL, you can deal with us directly. If you don't have an ACL, we've got different arrangements where we can come to uh, to assist you with your clients and help you. Um, I hope that is a quick explanation that provides a bit of clarity over the 0.75% home loan and also the My Variation service. But they're two great products uh, that help existing or new potential investor clients going forward. Thanks, Rick. Um, this, I just wanted to bring this one up here. I know you brought it up earlier. Um, a friend of mine's a developer in Adelaide and it's a very good stock option. It's in a suburb of Blair Athol. It's only 430,000, which is only seven kilometers from the city. It's got a, it's a, resident, it's a residential suburb area, but it does have a bit of um, employment around infrastructure. So it's great for a tenant perspective. Um, it's a Torrens Tidal townhouse, which obviously is a lot harder to find. Um, they're on completion, 430 grand, only seven kilometres from the city. The PIA shows it's it's only got a holding cost of about twenty dollars a week for the client to run. It'll get about should get over four hundred a week in rent. Um, it's a very sweet location, and it's a good way to, for someone to start if they're looking to go into uh, investing for the first time or to top up their portfolio to get that discounted interest rate. Thanks, Rick. Guys, I know we've run out of time, so we've got a couple couple more quick slides for you. Um, don't overlook the self-managed super fund industry. Currently, there's about 900 billion under management in self-managed super funds. And out of that, $200 billion is sitting in the banks at 1.46%. In fact, that'll be lower now. So don't always look to the lending side of things. There's $600 billion in term deposits in banks attracting about one and a half percent. They're much off, better off putting their money into property at a five, six percent yield. So that's with non-SMSF, but the self-managed super fund is a two, three trillion dollar industry. It's not just about the lending, become an expert in, in terms of knowledge. You have to be qualified to give advice, obviously, but learn as much as you can because that is a huge opportunity for you right now in the industry. The other thing is what we call the 56% rule. In essence, 56% of people would want to know the value of their property. This is a Westpac report that costs five, six million dollars and it was done a couple of years ago. 51% of Australian homeowners with a home loan don't know the amount of equity in their property or whether they could afford uh, to buy an investment property. And as Rick said, with the mortgage reduction and this 56% rule, you've got a huge market and some of the issues we've covered, you've got many, many reasons to talk to your clients and grow your businesses profitably. 
Um, this is a clear opportunity. We're a unique business model. We're, 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 not, we're not here to sell you anything. We're here to grow your business with you. And we'll follow up, we'll send an email um, this afternoon. You'll get a couple over the next day, but just reiterating what we, what we can do for you. What we'd like from you as well is feedback. And I'll give you a question. If a client says to you they want to think about it, I'd like you to email me and tell me what you would say to that particular objection. We believe we're specialists in, in objections, mainly because we get rid of them before they even come up. But email back the feedback. I'm not gonna give you an incentive to do it, but we'd really like to hear how you're going, what your thoughts were on the session. Um, I think Rick, you said yesterday that someone you knew only got one email back. So I'm hoping to get a lot more. What this session's been about is, is, is being innovative to, with your clients and adding, adding 15, 20 grand a month to your business. If I'm gonna buy your business and you're, you've only got finance and a trail book, it's of no interest to me. If you've got 30% of your clients that have bought other services, planning, property, whatever, I'm interested because it means you service your clients. So please um, consider those key points. The next session we run will be accelerated sales and marketing systems, word for word, because we all know Henry Ford, he said two things which resonated with me. The hardest thing a man has to do is think, so don't use the word think. And the second thing he said is, if he asked his clients what they wanted, they would have said a faster horse and buggy. Now what we're talking here is advanced sales and marketing not stuff you've probably never heard before, but stuff which will really enhance your business and change the way you're thinking. The pandemic has changed the world forever, but it's also given us huge opportunities to change the way we do business. If you're green, you'll grow. So I hope you've enjoyed the session. Apologies on running over time, but we look forward to talking to you in the near future. Thank you very much. If there's any questions, you can um, email us or put the questions up now on the question platform. I Which answered one for you, Kieran. From Dom, Dom, Dom Marina. Yep. Yeah. So they, said, they were just, it was just asking whether um, uh, people are holding off because they're expecting prices to go down after this whole virus thing ends. Do you think higher price properties will go down or do you think lower price properties will go down. I'd be interested to hear what you think. I, my quick answer to him while you were talking was, um, it's all about supply and demand. So I'd imagine if there's gonna be a decrease in price, it might be the higher price properties more so than the cheaper, uh, because there's more demand, more people afford the cheaper properties than the higher price properties. Look, I guess, I, I guess the answer is that, that property is a long-term long investment. Um, what we're going through now, nobody really knows the answer specifically to that question. What we do know though, um, if they're buying reasonably priced investment properties, they're not gonna lose long-term. Um, we are a very, very fortunate country, as we know, as the politicians keep telling us as well, but we, we are lucky um, in the sense that uh, we will bounce back. The, the, the advice I give um, to my people is, um, property transactions in, 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 is six six months anyway. And if you wait another three months, there'll be a rush. And I'll give you an example of this. There is not a bike shop in Australia with any bikes left. Did anyone know that? That everyone has gone out and bought bikes. So the bike shop's going really well. Uh, Harvey Norman, they're all laughing all the way to the bank. So there's a lot of people are waiting for your call right now to show them how to save 100, two, three, four, 500 a week, reduce their mortgages and give them innovative solutions, properties that they want to buy now. So I wouldn't hold back that it's what you do in the next three months will determine your profitability in the next five to 10 years. If you wait and take a sabbatical, you'll be too late. You'll be left, you'll be left in the blocks. The horse will have already bolted. So look, people holding off, there's diff if you want to talk to me about that, I can give you different strategies. But if they're going to hang around for fire sales, I doubt very much that's going to happen. The other thing, just quickly, Kieran, is um, 
I'd recommend the, the person, Don, that answered the, asked the question to look up a theory called dollar cost averaging. It's a, uh, an economic theory. And, um, and really the, the flaw of waiting for the time, trying to time the market and buy one property is flawed. And you've got to buy through the cycles and, that, and then you get your average purchase cost. Um, and that's going to be the more successful way to invest. So for anyone listening, look up dollar cost averaging, get your hand on that and you can explain that to your clients. And we all know Warren Buffett, uh, as he says, buy when people are fearful. Um, but with the bike shops and uh, the furniture shops and property sales, they're, they're not very fearful at the moment. I can assure you of that. So now, now's your chance, now's your opportunity. So thank you all very much. Um, Graham, Graham's asking for your email as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get something out to you in the next 20 minutes. But as I say to all, I, we want to deal with people that are biting my, putting their teeth into my ankles. In other words, you really want to, 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 to get out there and, and run a business, make good profits, and we're happy to support you. Um, and for that, in return, we get product sales, you get increased income and a lot less working time. Be, as the old saying goes, work, work, work smarter, not harder. Thank you very much for your time and appreciate you taking the time and have a great day. Thank you.